Freshman punter A.J. Cole III has already made a positive impact on the team. However, maybe the biggest impact so far has come representing the Wolfpack across the Atlantic Ocean in Kenya. During spring break, Cole was one of 20 members of the FCA, or Fellowship of Christian Athletes, to embark on a service trip to a small town called Nakuru. There, a local school and orphanage under the guidance of a man called Gideon Roby has grown from about 20 kids to over 700 with the help of the FCA. Just everything about the people there is uh, so different from the people here. Um, they're just so loving and so caring. They're not burdened by all the things of the world because they have less. And so their focus is very like concentrated on you know their faith, on their relationships, on their studies. And they're just the most like hardworking people and just being around them is just like an infectious attitude and I loved it and so I really was looking forward to going back this year. Cole had the opportunity right away to make an impact in the classroom. I had the opportunity to teach a couple of classes actually so the teacher would just like give me the lesson and so it was like middle school algebra, geometry, that kind of stuff and um, it was a really cool experience because the kids were so excited to learn. Algebra wasn't the only subject being taught. AJ had the chance to pass down some knowledge of his favorite sport football. And so at two o'clock we went out on the field and we had them in full pads. We had them in helmets, shoulder pads, pants, all, all that stuff. And we taught them football. They've never seen a football game in their life. And by Thursday they were playing a real football game. Football and knowledge were just two of the major forms of service on the trip. The third and final aspect was the sharing of faith in God and how to grow spiritually as a human being. We do share our faith with them um, by the service of not only the teachers, but, but also the students. Um, but we also do uh, tell them our testimony. So we played uh, the teachers in a soccer game last year, and we beat, we beat them 2-1. And I scored two goals against them. Uh, so they actually, it was like a spur to decision. Uh, the guy who leads it came up to me and was like, you got to give your testimony like right now. So they had all 700 students and every teacher and even some kids who didn't even go there were gathered around me and I had the opportunity to speak to all of them. This year the same thing happened. And that, a big thing was last year, uh, like I shared with them my favorite Bible verse, which is Luke 10, 19. I have given you the authority to trample snakes and scorpions and all the power of the enemy. I related that to their life about how, you know, a lot of them have really tough circumstances. They just need to know that, you know, if they put their trust and faith in the Lord and hope, put their hope in Him, that um, He will give them the strength and the power to overcome their circumstances. The thing that really stuck with me is you go over there, you have a great time, you bond with the kids, you, you know, serve the teachers, you do everything, you have a great experience, and then you come home. And so I kind of was looking forward to this year, like seeing like what kind of impact did I have, like did they remember me? And kids were coming up to me like, oh yeah, like, I, I, you know, I've shared that Bible verse with all my family, like I love that. They're like, I remember what we talked about last year, they're like, are you going to talk to us this year? They were all remembered me and that was, so that, that let me know that it's an impact that we're making and we're actually like changing lives. Cole touched many lives in Kenya, but one boy by the name of Benedict was about to learn AJ had bigger plans for him. I've said they're all thirsty for knowledge. Benedict is that times a million. He asked questions nonstop, and so I started talking to him and asking him about what his what his life is like. And he, um, his parents make a dollar a day, and he has um, seven brothers and sisters. And school tuition is twenty five dollars a month. They're living a family of ten on one hundred and fifty dollars a year. I, I told him, I was like, I saw that you aren't sponsored, because most of the kids in the school are sponsored, uh, but he wasn't because he's new. And I told, I told him that I wanted to sponsor him, and we were, just, we were like walking and talking, and he like stopped dead in his tracks, and he looked at me, and he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, like I want to I wanna sponsor you. He was like, I would be so glad for that. He was like, that would be such a blessing to my family. Like, I can't tell you how happy I am. The next morning, um, he comes up to me. He just drew me a picture, and... Um, it's like it's like me and him and it was like the picture of us like walking he was like he wrote on it he was like uh, he was like you are precious to me and I love you and then he wrote on it art by Benedict um, and so like that was like the moment like my heart dropped and I was like wow the kids Cole met weren't the only ones who learned something new for AJ going to Kenya has provided him with a new sense of passion and humility 
which he looks to bring to the Wolfpack family. Their energy and their passion is so contagious to me that I, I feel like I'm coming back just on fire, doing everything full speed, as hard as I can, just so I don't miss out on any opportunity that God has for my life, um, is a big takeaway that I had, because that's what they do. They're in the classroom and they know that their education is their way out. Their education is their way to a better life. And that's the same thing here. Our education is our, you know, it's our platform. That's why we're all here. We're student athletes. We're here to get an education.